Hello everyone, this is Shershai and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video guys, I'm going to show you how to put end screens on your YT video. But before anything else, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the notif bell for more updates. So if ready ka na, let's watch this! Ano nga ba ang end screens? End screens can be added to the last 5 to 20 seconds of a video. You can use them to promote other videos, encourage viewers to subscribe and more. But please take note guys, your video has to be at least 25 seconds long to have an end screen. So kung meron ka mas maikli pang video sa 25 seconds, ay hindi ka na magkakaroon ng end screen. Other interactive elements like card teasers and branding watermarks are suppressed during the end screen. Ibig sabihin nito na ang mga elements ng end screens lamang ang makikita mo sa panghuling parte ng video mo. End screens aren't available for videos set as made for kids. Hindi lang sa video guys, kung ang channel nyo ay nakaset as made for kids, do not expect na magkakaroon kayo ng end screens dahil yan ang bagong policy ni YouTube sa atin ngayon. Unang-una, pumunta kayo sa inyong YouTube studio at open nyo ang videos page at select ang video. From the left menu, select editor. Meron kang makikita ang end screen button dyan at pwede mo i-click at pwede ka na mag-edit ng iyong end screen. Sa end screens ay meron tayong tinatawag na elements. Elements are the pieces of content that you add to your end screen. Pwede itong apply it templates, add new elements, edit individual elements, change the timing of your elements, and decide where elements should show on your video. First, choose a template. Template contain groupings of elements that you can customize to create an end screen. When you select add an end screen, you'll be asked to choose a template. So, basis sa mga nakikita mo sa ating screen ay meron dyang hugis bilog at hugis parisukat or parihaba. Yan ay magagamit natin sa paglagay ng iba pang elements para sa ating end screen. Isang trick na pwede kong may bahagi sa inyo guys ay, ay yung paglagay ng extra video for end screens. Kasi ayaw ko maputol yung video ko dahil nilagyan ko siya ng end screen. So gusto ko mayroong party lang talaga siya na pang end screen. Next, choose an element. Kung makikita nyo ay pinili ko ang subscribe element. I-explain ko mamaya kung ano ang iba pang mga element na pwede nyo ding ilagay sa inyong mga end screen. Meron tayong video or playlist. This feature your most recently uploaded video allow YouTube to select a video from your channel to best suit the viewer and pick any video or playlist, public or unlisted, from your channel. Meron din tayong subscribe. Of course, it encourages subscriptions to your channel. Approve websites. This feature only available to members of the YouTube Partner Program. Link to your associated website or to approve merchandise and crowdfunding websites. 
and lastly channel this is to promote another channel with a custom message on your end screen ngayon para sa ating step 3 and 4 this is to change element timing and change element placement Kung nahihirapan ka ding i-move ang cursor mo sa iyong mobile sa pag -e edit ng iyong end screen, ay pwede mong gawin itong ginagawa ko. Ang ginagawa ko, una ay kiniklik ko saan nag-start at nag-e-end yung aking um, end screen element. At saka, tinatandaan ko yung time at ini-edit ko dun sa time dun sa box sa itaas. So, kung pinili mo ang video element, ay mayroon tayong tatlong bahagi dyan. Una, most recent upload. Automatically feature the most recently uploaded video. At pangalawa, best for viewer. Allow YouTube to select a video from your channel that best suit your viewer. And third, choose specific video. Select from your videos or from any video on YouTube. Paano mapaganda ang yung end screen? First, feature elements that are relevant to the video. Second, encourage viewers to click using calls to action for different end screen elements. Third, if you use a custom image, we recommend using an image that at least 300 times 300 pixel width. And make sure you leave enough space and time at the end of the video for an end screen. So yun yung ang sinasabi ko kanina, meron talaga akong video, extended video para sa aking mga end screen. You can check the performance of your end screens on the engagement tab of your YouTube analytics. So, malaking tulong ang end screen natin para may direct ang ating mga viewers sa ating mga videos. So, ito yung aking nasa analytics at minsan kasi medyo tinatamad tayong maglagay kaya dalawa lang yung nakikita yung uh, blue dyan. Viewers can't see your end screens naman in these places. First, on mobile web, with exception of course, iPad mobile web. In the YouTube music or YouTube kids app, in flash videos and in 360s videos so that's it guys i hope you have learned something today on my video 
Maraming salamat sa inyong pagpunta at hanggang sa muli nating pagkikita. Paalam!